In this video, I demonstrate the plotting of a line of position, or LOP, according to the method of Mark St. Hilaire. I have here a spreadsheet which has calculated that the intercept is 9 miles away and the GP azimuth is 107. The assumed position, or AP, for this line of position had integral values for both its latitude and its longitude, which places the AP in the middle of the plotting sheet. I will now start plotting the LOP by marking the GP azimuth on the compass rows, that was 107, that's here. Then I will plot the azimuth line from the assumed position towards the geographical position in the direction of 107. Now the intercept was calculated not towards the GP but away from it. Therefore we will be marking 9 miles away from the GP along the same azimuth line. I will now mark 9 miles from the AP with these dividers along the azimuth line and away from the geographical position of the observed body. The LOP is the line perpendicular to the azimuth line at this distance of 9 miles away from the GP. So that's our LOP, line of position. That means our vessel is located somewhere along this line. Now notice that the LOP crosses the AP's meridian at 30 miles north from the AP and it also crosses the AP's parallel of latitude at some distance west from the AP. This additional information is in fact calculated by our spreadsheet So here we have that the uh, LOP crosses the AP's parallel of latitude at uh, negative, that's west, 9.4 miles from the AP and it crosses the AP's meridian 30 miles north, that's positive north, from the AP. The spreadsheet also calculates that the LOP runs in these directions, 17 and 197. Uh, these directions are of course always uh, separated by 180 degrees and they are perpendicular to the GP azimuth. We can use this additional information to plot the same LOP in a slightly different way. I will start by marking the LOP's intersection with the AP's meridian that was 30 miles north from the AP. Then I will orient my parallel rulers in the direction in which the LOP runs. One of those numbers was 17. And now I will parallel transport that direction so that it crosses the AP meridian at the correct distance 30 miles north from the AP. And that way we obtain the exact same LOP that we obtained earlier using the more traditional method of intercept and azimuth. This technique could be useful in cases when you have many many LOPs on the same plotting sheet and uh, uh, doesn't require the use of the azimuth line or dividers and makes the plotting sheet perhaps a little more readable with fewer lines to worry about. And this concludes the demonstration.